NA1SS, NA1SS. This is Lima Uniform 1 Kilo Charlie Quebec for scheduled contact. Do you read me copy? NA1SS, NA1SS. This is Lima Uniform 1 Kilo Charlie Quebec for scheduled contact. Do you read me? NA1SS, this is Lima Uniform 1 Kilo Charlie Kevin. Hello, Joe. Good morning. We, have, we are in Tucumán. We have uh, 200 students hearing you. How are you? NA1SS, this is Lima Uniform 1 Kilo Charlie Kevin. Hello, this is the International Space Station. This is Joe. How do you read me? I read you loud and clear. Over. Okay, Joe. I, I will go with the third question for you. Hi, this is Sophia. What research activities you are developing in space do you consider more relevant for the future of humanity? Over. Hello, Sophia. So we are doing a lot of experiments up here. Uh, we're doing a lot of uh, cancer research type uh, studies. We're doing a lot of pharmaceutical, uh, looking at drugs that can enhance our lives. And then a lot of exploration. Uh, so I think we're doing a lot for humanity. Over. Hi, this is Justina. What kind of research you do in space can only be done there and not on the Earth? Over. Yeah, so since we are in a microgravity uh, environment, we can do a lot of studies here with crystal growth, fluids, uh, we do a lot with fire, so things that can only be done in a microgravity environment. Over. Hi, this is Josefina. Have you seen anything weird or unusual in space that science hasn't been able to explain yet? Over. So, um, there's always things that are unusual that we see from here, but most of them can be explained. But that's the beauty of exploration, is you never know when you're going to find something unusual that you can't explain. Over. Hi, this is Camila. Considering you know both Earth gravity and space microgravity, which one do you prefer? Over. Hey, Camila. Uh, they both are, they're just so different that uh, I love floating in microgravity. But after being here for six months or so, I'll be ready to, to feel the force of Earth's gravity. But if you ever get a chance, come to space. Over. Hi, this is Paula. After living so many months in space, have you developed any different perspectives on the life and problems of the world on the Earth's surface? Over. Hey, Paula, yeah, when you see the planet from uh, 250 miles away, you see how beautiful it is and how it's all interconnected. But while we have different countries, we're all one people. So. You do get a different perspective from here. Over. Hi, this is Federico. Are there any Argentinian or Latin American people working in your team? Over. Uh, claro que sí. Yo soy Boricua. Uh, mis padres son de Puerto Rico. So we do have Latin Americans. We have an Italian here as well. So along with the Russians and Americans, we have a truly international space station. Over. Hi, this is Agustin. What was the most complicated situation you had to go through in the ISS and how did you solve it? Over. Um, I think uh, doing a spacewalk always leads to uh, complicating issues. And so if you make a mistake, you just have to learn from it and then uh, try to move on and improve what you do. So um, luckily we have a big team of support. Over. Hi, this is Luca. How, how do you think you will feel when you return to Earth after a long time? Over. Hey Luca, this one for me will be six months. My last mission was four months. And so I know I didn't feel great for the first 24 hours, but after that things got better. But it's amazing how strong gravity is when you've been away for so long. Over. Hi, this is Pilar. Does everyone have the same role in ISS or are there superiors and subordinates? Over. Hi, this is Sophia. Which is more important for traveling and staying in space? Physical condition or mental state? Over. <laughs> That's uh, another tough question. So you do need to be physically strong. Uh, we have to work out for two hours every day. And if you do a spacewalk, it's physically demanding. Uh, but you 
also have to be mentally strong uh, just to focus on a day-to-day basis. So I think you really need to have those. Over. Hi, this is Sophia. How long have you stayed in the ISS? Since 